Becoming a man means you have to make some pretty important decisions. And here's one of them. I could get up this morning, or I could just stay in bed that little bit longer, rest my head against this plump pillow and sink back into a world of dreams. I stick a toe outside the blankets to test the atmosphere, and it zips back like a retreating scout into the warm embrace of the duvet. I leave it to the very last possible tick. On the final second, I arise like a zombie shuffling from the crypt with my hand firmly on the snooze button and my eye on the clock. I get dressed in a hurry, dealing with priority tasks such as uh, toast and checking the internet over things like doing my homework and having a shower. I'm sure nobody at school will notice I haven't had a shower. But then their eyes constantly follow me down the corridor, like they're gazing at me in the classroom like they're recording me in the playground. I feel like I'm the number one topic of conversation for the entire school population, and everything everybody says about me is bad. Like, um, my hair's far from stylish, it's a messy bush, and I didn't have a wash, so I'm covered in pimples and spots, and I don't have a paper round, so I can't afford the best shoes, and I never really exercise, so I must be fat and huge. I feel like I'm the stock character in a film who doesn't have any lines, but the camera constantly follows them and never leaves their side. Like, I'm the only one at a costume party that's actually wearing a disguise. Like, I came last in a race, but I still walked away with the first prize. Okay, so there's boys who reckon they can win any fight. And then there's boys who stay out late at night. And then there's boys who get all the best grades and praise. And then there's boys who talk about like, sex and drugs but I reckon I reckon I know the most about love you see there's this girl and then you know that's that's cliche because there's always a girl but she's the girl if I have to be the main character I'd want to save her and the world because that that that'd make me the hero but there's a problem. I'm the problem. She's about as interested in me as an OAP is keen on dodgems. Like, if she were a steamroller, she'd care about me like she'd care about using the door. Basically, she'd just rather chat to a brick wall. In geography, I sidle up next to her. I stand at just the right angle and I listen carefully and sharpen my pencil. Now, I'm not regretful. I'd rather stand near her than draw an oxbow lake. <laughs> Her and her friends are talking about going out tonight and having a great night by street light in the park. And, and then they say a few comments, so my whole body goes rigid and my heart starts hurting and my stomach gets clenched. And I s slowly turn. And I pause for dramatic effect. And I say, um, oh, well, yeah, would it, uh, would it be all right if I came out tonight? Yeah? Maybe? Possibly. Or please. <laughs> oh, yeah. Yeah, cool. Well, I, I'll see you in the park. Yeah. Yeah. See, see you about eight. Yeah. Yeah, cool. That afternoon, I'm trying hard not to start walking on the walls, trying hard to not start walking on the ceiling, trying hard to slow down. I try a million different combinations of T-shirt, socks, underpants and trousers and go through a lifetime supply of gel on my hair. I have a wash, so my face is less spotty, if a little bit raw and hurty. I even have a shave. And the shaver feels like a weapon in my grip, though. Yeah, it's only a couple of hairs, I'll admit. Her words form the soundtrack to that afternoon. Because she said to me, Make sure you use some deodorant. 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 I make sure I use some deodorant. I take out a can of spray and spray and spray. And then I take out another can of spray and spray and spray. I borrow my dad's spray, make sure my left armpit is fully insured. And then I borrow my brother's spray, make sure my right armpit is fully insured. The room is a haze of mist, but it might seal a kiss. As I turn to leave, I notice a pile of toys in the corner. And I scoff as I, ha, a grown man 
leave with the taste of victory and smelling pretty satisfactory. <laughs> On the way to the park, I stop, up, stop off at Sainsbury's, buy another can of spray, just to make sure. I arrive in good time, hands strategically in pockets, chat to a few people, Right? Yeah, yeah. No, not doing my homework. No. No. <laughs> Skipping detention. Not quite. Mm -hmm. <coughs> and then she arrives. She arrives, and I look into her eyes. And I can see us holding hands and kissing and getting married and having kids and grandkids, and then. As we grow old together, we embrace as we pass away. And there, in that park, under that street light, she turns to me. She turns to me and she says, Oh, you stink of spray. Cool, thank you. <laughs>